Now, boys and girls, when we're reading, we have to employ a lot of different strategies because when we're reading, we're always doing what? We're always thinking. We're always thinking about what we're reading and we're employing our schema. Our schema is what we know about reading. And we always have to be developing new schema. We're always developing new things. We're always learning new things. So one of the things we're doing when we're reading is, is everyone looking this way? No one's in their book right now and touching their book, are they? No, everybody's like Mona Lisa's looking this way. Mona Lisa, everyone. Everybody is, do, what we want to do is we want to visualize. We want to use our senses to create pictures in our mind as we read. Now, I do this all the time. We want to think, what do I see in my mind? I always visualize, well, what does the character look like? What do the characters look like? What are they wearing? What is going on here? I think, what would I smell, especially if there's maybe food in the book, or if they're in a certain place, I think, well, what does that place smell like? What would I hear? What sounds are going on in the story? I think of those things. I also think, what would I taste? Well, especially as, like one time I was reading these books that took place in a cafe, bakery, and I'm thinking, oh, I wonder what that would taste like. I was thinking that. Wouldn't you be wondering that yourself? I was thinking, I wonder what that dessert would taste like. It certainly smells delicious. And then I wonder, what would I feel? I put myself in the character's shoes. <coughs> so boys and girls, we have to visualize and let our senses create pictures when we're reading. Yes? So, or kind of like dreams. Because one time I was in a dream and I was getting something and then I woke up and I visualized it. Yes. Yes, you're kind of visualizing, yeah. kind of like in a dream, yeah. but you're reading and you're visualizing. Yeah. You're thinking about the story, you're thinking about the characters, you're thinking about what's going on in the story, and you're visualizing it all in your head as it's happening. You're kind of like making a movie in your head of the story. That's what you want to be doing. Because remember, if you are not thinking about what's going on in the story, if you're not thinking about your reading, then what's the point? You're wasting your time. If you're not thinking about it, then why bother? It's like, it's kind of, and then you have these experiences while you're reading and you're thinking about it and you're visualizing it, and then something happens like, oh, they make a movie out of your book. And then you watch the movie and you think, well, I didn't visualize it this way at all. Then that's somebody else's vision of the movie, you have of the book. You have your vision. But at least you're thinking about it, right? You have to be thinking about it. Yes? So, it, like, for Daisy and Tiny Peach, it was like a dream. So, it's like, it didn't, like, get, or if you didn't, like, if you didn't figure it out, like, Um, yes, but you have somebody else's visual of it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you're visualizing somebody else's interpretation of it instead of your own. Kind of the fun thing is, is if you don't see the movie first, you can visualize it yourself to think what you think it would be like, your imagination of it. If you see the movie first, then you're, you're visualizing somebody else's visualization of James and the Giant Peach. This way, if you read it first, then you have your own. You visualize it yourself. Yes? Um, so, some nights are gonna watch a movie called Scream, and I feel like once I watch it, I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I'm gonna wake up, and I'm gonna start thinking about it again. Yeah, I think maybe that movie, maybe you're not, that might be scary for you. So maybe you might not want to watch that. You could take a pass. I know, I want to watch okay. I don't want to get scared. Well, I think you could just think to yourself that it's all just pretend. Because it is all just pretend. Yes? So I... Yeah, 
sometimes stuff like that will give you nightmares. So let's think about visualizing as we are reading. So that is a really good thing to do as we're reading a story, is to visualize it in your head. Okay, boys and girls? So here's what I want you to do. What we're going to do is we're going to be reading a story this week called Dear Dragon. And before we read, I want you to open your book to Dear Dragon. And I want you to kind of go through the pages. And I want you to take kind of a walk through it because we are going to try to figure out what we think that story is about. We're going to do the before reading, I predict. What do you need? Oh, I read the story. Oh, of course you did. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so some people have already read it. So we're going to do the before reading, I predict. And I want you to write maybe three sentences about what you think the story is going to be about. So look at the pictures. And we're going to write a few sentences about what we think this story is about. I would like you to use complete sentences, yes? Then what do we usually do if we've already read it? What is my rule, yes? Just say, I've already read it. Yes, you could just write down, I've already read the story. Yes. Have you read it too? No. Okay. So write down what you think this story is going to be about. Write maybe three sentences. You could write down your opinion of the story and let me know what you thought of the story. Jensen, you can write down what you thought of the story. So write down maybe three sentences what you think of the story. Or, I mean, what you think the story is going to be about. 